Hi everyone, this is Prashad Parthiban. Today I'm going to take a training on property and casualty insurance rating system. So what is a rating system? Primarily rating system is going to help us to derive the premium for a property and casualty insurance policy. So let's take an example. Say if you are owning a car, say like two cars with the two drivers and you wanted a property and casualty personal auto insurance for you. So you go to your insurance carrier and they take your details like both the car details and the driver details and what are the kind of coverages you need like collision, comprehensive etc etc and then say if you want endorsements they add the endorsements and then they create a submission. During the submission process they do a quote. Quote is nothing but the step where they come up with a premium. So that is a step where we rely on a rating system. If you see this diagram, the moment a customer goes to the insurance carrier, they collect all the critical details like drivers, vehicles, coverages, endorsements and they during the quoting process, they pass it on all those premium bearing attributes to the rating system. The rating system is a standalone system that is going to come up with the premium. Now, you may have a question, how is the rating system going to come out, calculate the premium? The way it does is, it has something like rate tables. The rate tables are nothing but, no, at a high level, it will have different factors for different attributes. Let's take an example. See, if I have a driver who is 55 years old, compared to a driver who is 15 years old, a 55 year old driver is going to have more experience, so what will typically happen is, they will get less premium compared to a person who is 15 years old. How do they achieve that? In the rate tables, they have a factor. Factors are nothing but you know, a kind of a numerical value that will be used to you know, derive the premium. So the factor will be multiplied by the individual attributes of the you know, policy and then they will come up with the premium. So how they will come up with the premium again? Based on the factors, we have a rating logic S similar to other applications like where we have logic you know, logic process they have a logic in rating system like you know form laws or algorithms which will use these factors and come up apply the form laws and come up with the premium so when you say premium don't assume that it's going to be the total premium it is going to be a cost so what is cost say if you want a personal auto policy you can have multiple coverages collision comprehensive loss of use uninsured or underinsured so what this rating system is going to do is it is going to calculate the premium for every coverage. So if you go and see the rate sheet, it will say like for collision coverage, this is a premium, for comprehensive, this is a premium, and this is a discount. So if you take discount, say you have a homeowner's policy already with the insurance carrier, now you are getting a personal auto. So they give some kind of bundle discount. So that is also going to reflect in your rating sheet. Plus surcharges. So every state has a kind of no surcharge that has to be you know, collected from the insurance company. Plus taxes that we have to pay to the federal government. So all those breakup has to be done by this rating system using the rate table and the rate logic and they will come up at the cost level. Once they come up with the cost level, that's where they are going to sum up all the cost to derive the total premium. If you take a personal art example, the moment you pass all these premium bearing attributes, and the rating system is going to say for collision coverage this is a $150 a premium for comprehensive 50 for liability 30 the total taxes is 10 so the total premium will be 240 this is the 240 will be the premium that will be sent back to the policy system that way it can be sent to the customer for payment I hope you like my training videos if you like my training videos please do subscribe to my youtube channel have a great day thank you bye bye